Hi, everybody. In this video, I want to look at just one more example with translating sentences into equations. So in this example, we're going to write each sentence as an equation or inequality, and we'll let x represent the unknown number in these examples. So the change here is, or I guess the, the key thing here, I should say, with equations is looking for that key word. So there's different uh, words we can use there for equations, but the most common one and the one you'll probably see, again, the most often, the most frequently, is the word is. So one thing to note for equations when you're reading through, if you see just the word is, that is usually the biggest flag that you have an equation there. Um, but there's also other words as well. Of course, if you see something like um, is equal to or is uh, the same as, that also would mean equal. Um, sometimes we use the word like yields. So the result yields this particular answer um, or something like that. So there are definitely a few keywords here that we can look through. Um, and think about when using uh, equals as well. And these are just a couple of them. So here it says the quotient of 20 and a number is 5. Now, quotient we know means division. So I'm going to be thinking some sort of division going on here. Remember, for division and subtraction order does matter um, because they are not uh, commutative, meaning you cannot just interchange the order of things. So we do have to be very particular for subtraction and division problems. And then I see another keyword here is, and again, if it's just an is, that is a flag that that's going to be an equal sign. For quotient, I'm going to do this in order. Again, there's really no other keywords happening here. It just says the quotient of 20 and a number. So I can write it like this. Uh, the quotient, meaning I'm dividing 20 and a number, is equal to 5. I could also write it like this. 20 divided by that number is equal uh, to 5. So those would both be correct ways to write this. Next, I have four subtracted from 10 is a number. Again, there's that keyword is here. And again, this is the one you see the most for equal signs. So that's going to be our equals. We have subtraction here. We do have to be careful that word from, when I see it with the word subtracted, is actually going to reverse the order. Um, the other word that this happens to as well is than. Um, so to be careful with the words like less than, sometimes it can mean an inequality symbol, which we'll see in a second, and other times it could mean subtraction. So you have to read really carefully to see what is being implied in that context. Um, but if it's a subtraction problem, if you see the word subtracted from or less than, meaning subtraction, then the order is reversed there. So we're not going to write 4 minus 10. We're actually going to write 10 minus 4 here and then is a number. Here I have three times a number. So times refers to, again, multiplication here. We're gonna do that, break, then add it to 15. And then it is not equal to 30. So a little bit of a change there. So I have three times a number would be three times X. We're gonna add that to 15. And then is not equal would look like this. So it's the equal symbol with a slash through it. And then we have a 30 on the right side. Next, I have some inequality problems. So here we have triple a number is less than 60. Now a key change is that word is. So is less than is referring to an inequality symbol. So you, you have to do be, do be careful there. Um, so for instance, if I had something like um, five less than a number, something like that could actually be subtraction. Um, less than, again, the order would reverse there, so it would be x minus five. Notice the difference here is is less than versus less than. So it's very subtle changes. You have to be really be really be careful. Um, what the problem is trying to tell you. So is less than typically is an inequality sign instead. So this is going to be triple a number. Triple means three times something. So three times a number is less than 60. So just watch out for less, though. That can be particularly tricky 
um, if it's subtraction or is it an inequality? 15 minus double a number is greater than 10. So I have 15 minus. Again, there's no keywords there like from or than, so the subtraction is in order. Double a number means to multiply it by two. So that would be 2x is greater than, is a greater than sign, and then 10. So again, you have to be careful here because we often can use the words greater or greater than to also mean addition. Um, in some cases, so reading through really carefully is going to be really important with these and also reading your directions. In our directions here, it did say to write an equation or inequality. So that's sort of giving you a hint that you may be using less than and greater than signs here. Um, but we do have to be particularly careful because those words can also mean subtraction and addition. So we do need to be a little bit more, uh, paying a little bit more attention in those cases.